Roscoe. Come on, Buster. We got some trades to do. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of our Let's Play here on Minecraft. It's episode 174, and today we got some awesome trades. And you know why? Because I've been trading. <laughs> and we've been getting some more, uh, what are they called? Librarians bread, and it's been awesome. Buster, sit down. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. <laughs> um, I've been kind of working it. Well, not really. Um, I still got to get that other pod filled up. I took down the staircases that I had here because villagers would climb up and fall off and kill themselves. And that's actually what killed most of my villagers. But luckily, I started breeding them back up and luck. No. 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 Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yes! Yes! Look! Frostwalker 2! <laughs> oh my gosh. And that's not all. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and trade him with this. Oh, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to try this. Yippee! Alright. So we got 61 emeralds left. Yay! Alright, so we're going to put that not actually on these boots, but a newer thing. Of oh, hi. On a new thing of boots, but guess what? No! Gosh dang, get out of here. Uh, oh god. No! Whoa, 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 whoa! Where is he? No! Oh, it was him. Mending! <laughs> Yay! Alright, so we got Frostwalker and Mending. I've been trading with these guys like crazy, and oh my gosh, we got the two new enchants. Oh, oh, I have... Okay, I got 31 emeralds left. Alright, dude, um, I do not want you to get out of there, so you're gonna stay here. Oh, oh that was weird. <laughs> I had three blocks, I actually had two. Come on, Buster, we're gonna go put these on some tools. So yeah, in today's episode, I don't really have anything huge planned out. Um, we're just going to be doing small things around the house. I brought Roscoe up here, and Blue is up here. I'm tired of seeing ocelots. As you guys know, these guys are kind of glitched out through an update. So, okay. I want you to breed, and you to breed. Oh gosh, are we going to get a little baby kitten? A normal color? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why did I get another ocelot? Is this just a bug they haven't fixed yet? Can you not get normal kitties? Who are you? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. What are we going to do with them? We're just going to have a whole family of ocelots. I want normal colored kitties. <sighs> I'm going... Okay, but anyway. I was going to... As you <laughs> guys saw in last episode, we got some name tags from that adventure. Um, names are still... I don't mind wasting... Well, I do mind, but uh, I'm going to risk wasting one. Um, let's name him... I don't know, Bobby. There we go. I'm just going to see if name tags are still glitched out where names don't stick anymore. Bobby, come here. <laughs> All right. Um, if that is gone by the next time we see him or something, that's going to suck. <laughs> because I want to name our new llama and whatnot. Um, anyway, I want to... I, we have some diamond boots up here that have been in this chest for absolutely ages. Like I mean, ages. And I think I'm going to finally use them for our new pair of adventuring boots. Now these ones are still got a long way to go. These are going to be called Boots of the Traveler, of course. They already are. And the new ones are going to be called Boots of the Adventure. And I'm going to make them exactly like that, but with Frostwalker 2 on them. So I'm going to go enchant them and see what I get. Okay, so I just had the option for unbreaking three on these boots in the level three slot, but I didn't want to take the chance because I don't want to get like blast protection on these or not, but I just got feather falling four option. And I'm going to take the risk. Now there's a chance we're going to get blast protection or fire protection or something, which will ruin the boots because I want full protection to make the amazing boots. So I'm going to take, I don't have any feather falling four books, so I'm going to take the risk. Okay, I'm okay. I'm cool with that. All right. <laughs> now I do have protection for books up top, so we can go do that. All right, the boots of the adventure are gonna have to be put on hold for a while. <laughs> I went throughout my whole world, checked every enchanted book I possibly have, and um, well, okay. Here's the thing: we have feather falling four and protection four and frostwalker two. That's what we want. We also need unbreaking three and depth strider three. And all I could find was a depth strider two and a depth strider. Oops, a Depth Strider 1, so that means we're going to have to find another Depth Strider 1 to get a, that, and then I only found three Unbreaking 1 books, so I'm going to, have to do some enchanting in between episodes, of course, uh, so that'll be fun. Alright, <laughs> I wanted to walk on water today, but I guess not. And I want to use that Mending book, um, I almost actually put it on my Minesweeper pick, but then I realized my Minesweeper pick is actually a Silk Touch, so... That would be kind of bad, because you don't get XP from Silk Touch. Uh, well, uh, unless I did things like go down to the XP farm and 
hold it while I kill zombies, but I don't want to do that because I wanted to put it on here because it's my first enchanted pick, I believe. Or my first named pick. I think that, yeah, that was what it was. And um, I'm just going to wait until I build like an efficiency five pick to use it on that because, of course, you can't really repair efficiency five picks. It's just too expensive. But anyway, I have something to show you guys. Someone helped me out um, about our adventures and which ways we have gone. Okay, I want you to get a good look at this map. Here's our house. There's the top desert biome that I call the Wither. This is Wither Road right here. That's the Wither Fighting Area. And this is the other desert biome. And our spawn is like right here where this block is. Just kind of get an, an imagine. Just imagine. Just like look at it. Just picture it. <laughs> and there's our little island thing right there. Now take a look at this. Our whole map and which directions we have explored. I've been trying to do this forever. And uh, the person who helped me, I don't have an Android. By the way, this uh, can only be done on an app called Block Topograph, which is only on Android, and I don't have any Android. So a friend named uh, Austin Elwood, who actually made my story map that I still need to continue, um, helped me out with this. Uh, it crashed a lot, and he had troubles doing it because I have such a huge world. His Twitter will be down below for helping me out. Um, but yeah, this is what I wanted, to see which directions I have explored. And my gosh, uh, it looks kind of weird because I had to like, Photoshop a couple together to put it all together um, but okay so here's what I was talking about for you to memorize there's our house there's the top desert biome where the f weather fighting is and then this is the bottom one and there's our spawn and there's the mesa biome uh, so yeah look at this now what I'm confused about is actually this big line right here I think this is the jungle adventure line which I thought I went this direction and I don't even know what this is Oh, I think this is, uh, I think we went over here, put down a nether portal, went far in the nether, and then came out, and then we came out somewhere over here doing something. Um, I don't remember what this adventure was over here. I really don't. <laughs> but I'm guessing this is the jungle adventure, because it actually goes further than this, and the jungle's like way over here somewhere. But what I remembered is that this is the jungle, because look at that. Those are two villages that I found, I remember. It's kind of blurry, I'm sorry. And they're like... I found a giant village on our jungle adventure. There's two of them next to each other. And I think that's another village right there. And I don't that looks like one right there. Yeah, isn't that crazy? So I now know which directions we have gone. And up here, I don't know what this red stuff is. This is where like a village is, and this is where I stopped exploring. By the way, this is what we did yesterday. We went right around here, and then we came back this way. And I don't know what this is. I guess we did go all the way out there, which is crazy. And then the south we have not gone south at all so that's gonna be our next big adventures and there's the woodland mansion so i just thought i'd share that with you guys we're doing it we're finishing it by the way be careful when you get on your horses or mules if they're like near something while they're leaded and you unlead them and then hop on them their health drops down a lot yesterday i hopped on uh eeyore here and his health went down to half a heart no kidding same as mine for some reason i do not know why <laughs> after i like unleaded him and then hopped on him it was it's just annoying bugs pocket edition you know get on there all right no we're finishing that <laughs> oh my gosh what is wrong with me you don't even know what this is probably um this is kind of old now i was it's kind of supposed to look like a little tomato or berry farm or something and it's in like a tiny little greenhouse that i never finished so i just need stairs really is that all i needed was freaking stairs Oh, gosh, what is wrong with me? That's not how you make stairs. Well, kind of. What am I doing? There we go. There we go. Uh, there we go. Will that do? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get up here and finish this. I've been meaning to finish this forever. Uh, it's just a little aesthetic thing, to be honest. Um, so we need that, 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 there, and that's all. Oh, wait, right here. Uh, oh, wait, no, we need slabs. Now it shall be finished. I commence this to be done. Now. <laughs> there we go. Now it looks nice. Ah, now people can stop bugging me about it. <laughs> because I'm like, oh yeah, I'll do that. And then I never do. And while I'm over here, I want some birch doors on it, actually. I've been starting to place my birch doors the way they should be. Well, they're not necessarily how they should be. But for zombies not to get in them, just like do that. Because it's considered closed right there. But now it's considered open when you do that. Uh, do I want that there? It looks wide enough for it. 
I, I want to start using jungle doors too now. I was in creative mode yesterday on another world and I saw how cool jungle doors looked because they have that little peek hole through them. Oh, I wanted to go up here and show you guys. I want to start on a, one of our new projects called the trophy room where we're going to put all of our most valuable like treasures and finds and everything. Um, as of right now, if you guys remember my office, which is what it leads to right here, it's kind of like an escape. Oh, crap. Forgot there's no way. Oh, is this still bugged? Why is that not powering? What the? I have no idea. I'm just going with it. Isn't that weird? Oh, man. Freaking weird bugs. That is so weird. Wait, let me... Hang on. Is that weird? Oh, that one breaks. Okay. <laughs> that is so strange. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Now our door should be fixed. Now let's go try it. But as I was saying, we made an office down here, and I never really use this office anymore because I was kind of getting into the underground stage where I wanted to expand almost my whole base underground. Um, I was even going to have like armor stands here. This was going to be like a smelting room. But the more I've been down here, the more I realize I miss the like the nice blue sky and just outdoors. And this was my office. Dallas is off. I even have a kitty in here. Ugh, another ocelot. Hey, I got some goods in here. Holy crap. Yeah, and then this is where... Oh, wow. Oh, man, some of the OG... Wait. Oh, yeah, that's my first traded emerald right there. And then I got first pickaxe. That's actually the first pickaxe of this world. Um, then I got expeditious mark three, silky spade. And these guys, I think, can't be repaired anymore. Um, they're just too expensive. And then this, it finally works. Awesome. This was a little escape hatch in case, like, because this is a valuable room. In case a creeper came in, I'd be like, oh, heck no. Nope, nope. <laughs> um, that's what I would do there. But I'm trying to think of a new trophy room design. I don't know if today will be the day, but I can't decide if we'll expand the house or not. The trophy room is going to have to be a secure room, a room that I pass through a lot because I want to be able to see this stuff a lot. And that means we won't be able to use that room or that room because they're just kind of in locations that we don't go through a lot. Um, so I'm not going to put them in places such as that. Now, the high traffic areas of my house. Hi, Spide. How you doing? <laughs> um, is obviously this room, but this is like a welcoming room. And then, of course, we go upstairs here. This is like a lobby room. And this is kind of where a lot of stuff goes down, where crafting goes down. Uh, just natural living, I guess you can say. Storage of my valuables um, and whatnot. And yeah, this is the type of stuff I want to put in the trophy room, such as stuff I've found, like my first and whatnot. And we kind of travel through here a lot, such as a room like this. This would have been a perfect room, but this is our workshop. Um, I don't want to use this room down here because I don't go in there a lot. Now, what I'm thinking about saying, like I was saying, I want this might be the first day we expand our house, is what if we expand it this way? Remove that mushroom and build another place just like right there. And then it's just kind of like this, a long hallway straight through there. And then we can expand it to the library. And then it would just be like this whole area right here would be a, another big... Oh, I got... Guys, I'm... Oh, I, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> this is the only problem with me. I get so connected to things. Like, I like nostalgic things. <laughs> so this mushroom, I... I I never expanded this way because I had such a hard time getting rid of it. This was like our one of our first mushrooms, and I was I loved it because it was like a really tall red mushroom. But I need to stop getting so connected to things. And I actually made this a while ago, a way to get up here. But I, like seriously, I do need to stop getting so connected to things. We need to get rid of some stuff that needs to be get rid of because I would love to expand the house over this way, and that's what we are going to do. So, uh, mushroom, you served us well. I never used you, uh, which is. Kind of sad. <laughs> I was going to put something up in there, but I never knew what to put in there. Um, so, yeah, I think this will be a great area to expand the house in. Now we got a bunch of red blocks. Oh, I already had a bunch. Maybe we could rebuild the mush. No, we don't get any white blocks back, <laughs> which kind of sucks. I would like to rebuild the mushroom. I want to plant more around here. Okay, now that that's gone, uh, man, we're going to have to get rid of these balconies, but I'm still going to want to have a walkway right through here. So I'm going to put a gap and then build the place. We're going to have to, I won't do much terraforming. Uh, we're just going to kind of build with the land. So I'm going to kind of lay out with some logs. I might need to go cut down some trees and kind of give an idea of where I want to build it. Oh, 
Okay, there's one thing I've noticed a while ago that I, <laughs> for some reason, never fixed. Of course. <laughs> okay, here's a good example. Look, see how I have these awesome looking, like, uh, I guess support beams going across with slabs in the center to add depth to it, um, which I did on the very first floor. That's what gave me the idea here. These were the first ones I did. Of course, these don't have slabs because there's no room under it, but I did it right here. Now, that looks really good in my opinion. And then when you go up a floor, I didn't do it up here for some reason. Why? I don't know. <laughs> um, over here, I can make an exception because this is kind of funky. Same as here. I made this log continue this way, and it looks weird how it abruptly stops. I should have put a beam across here. Now, over in this room, okay, I have andesite here, and I do have it down there, but I didn't do it up here. I have full blocks, and this is just, I don't like how inconsistent it is, so, and I didn't even do it up there. Oh, wait, that's a kind of a different room. So what I'm going to do now, actually, is we're going to go reflooring. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I think over here, yeah, I'm going to go up there, put logs down, um, Starting right here, actually, I can put... I wonder if we can see this outside. You can. Okay. So I should probably go all the way over, maybe. How far, though? Oh. Yeah. That's probably why I didn't do it. <laughs> um, That looks awkward. I'll figure something out. Okay, so what I did, of course, is put logs through here and put slabs on those. Um, I actually brought the logs all the way down this way. And from the looks of it, I think it would look a whole lot better if I do slabs over here, too. And then have a few beams going across. I had to get rid of my trap doors like this, which I didn't really mind. I just did that for a little aesthetics thing. Um, and then, of course, these guys, I had to bring them in one. But I want to replace the fences on them with an oak fence because you can't really see the spruce fence. They kind of look like they're just floating. And then oak would actually look like they're actually being held up by something. And my lag is increasing by a lot. I'm starting to think, actually, it might have to do with decaying leaves. I don't know, because I just went on a huge bone meal spree over there, cutting down trees, and now there's a bunch of leaves over there. It might just... Game is just frame rate -y. Well, not frame rate. It lag spikes like crazy. I don't, I don't know. I'm always lagging. It's just this world. <laughs> So yeah, I think I got it how I want it. Um, I'm kind of iffy about those trap doors there, but other than that, this room is looking good. And the workshop as well, I went ahead and replaced all those blocks with slabs. And you remember the clubhouse, guys? Do you remember it? The freaking clubhouse? <laughs> this place up here, I never go up here, and that is a problem. This is a room that doesn't have a purpose, and you know what happens to rooms that don't have purposes? I never go in them and that's a problem and I don't like that so what I was trying to do in here is just make it like a relaxing room but I never come up here um, and this was like a little pool table can I make it I wonder huh. into the left pocket oh. left pocket oh my god it doesn't even work anymore <laughs> you need like ice in every area but whatever um, so what I'm gonna do later on well not in this episode I kind of like that <laughs> I didn't even finish the roof I'm gonna get rid of that, these little m weird machines that used to have paintings on them and this little bar. I'm gonna get rid of all that and we're gonna make this a useful room in the future, but I don't know what now. But right now, I actually want to start on the library. Believe it or not, the library. I have a personal library, but of course it's underground. That's when I was in the underground phase. <laughs> But this area over here, this is what this monster area was supposed to be. Back in the episode 60s, if you go back and check, um, this was a giant library. But I took it down because I didn't like the look of it. I had some bookshelves going across here. I think I want to have somewhat similar design as it was, but I don't know because it was very hard to work with. That's why I took it down. I had some bookshelves right here. Um, and then at one point, there were some bookshelves across here. I kind of liked how it looked, but, and then I had some, and it ran red carpet throughout the whole thing. It was really cool, actually. I'm thinking about redoing it, to be honest. I'm going to mess around in here a bit. This is so tough, guys. Like, seriously. <laughs> this was one of the hardest rooms I've ever worked in. That's why I was just always so struggling with it. Um, I'm kind of building the same exact style I was when I did it before I had like red carpet going throughout the whole thing around um, I had a bunch of sh like 
like random bookshelves everywhere. Um, but that's the problem because what I wanted to do, I want to use this for the library to store all of my enchanted books and whatnot. Um, so the problem was is I wanted to actually store it in the bookshelf. But I don't want to do that trick where you put like a minecart chest in a bookshelf. I don't even know if you can do that in Pocket Edition, but I don't want to do that either way because just Pocket Edition is full of bugs. You know, the problems that could happen with that. Um, so the only option I kind of have to, like, if I wanted to make it look like I was getting the books out of the bookshelves is maybe, I don't know, something like, I can't put it right here. Something like that, but that would take up a lot of space. And that means I wouldn't be able to use this design. I would have to go for a completely different design, which I'm okay with, but I want it to look good in here. So this is just going to have to be something I work with over time. I'm going to have to spend a lot of time in here. If you guys have any ideas, you can always send screenshots on my uh, Twitter, and then maybe you can inspire me a bit or something, because this is just one hard project. Oh, man. And I really don't feel like working on it today because I would have to dedicate a whole episode to this. Yikes. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. I forgot about this explosion. <laughs> I've patched that up. Oh, there's iron. Um, yeah, so this episode won't be that productive, just to let you guys know ahead of time. Um, I'm a very busy person today, but I don't want to stop my awesome upload schedule I've been having. I missed yesterday. I apologize for that, but I just couldn't. I didn't have the time to. And I was kind of doing other things. Um... But yeah, I'm kind of running around looking at what projects I actually want to work on next. And I, I wouldn't mind just talking to you guys about it. Oh, you know what? I have not checked in these chests and what's in them for a long time. Oh, wow. Oh, look at all these building materials. Whoa. I got some. Whoa, I got a stack of spruce wood. <laughs> I've been looking for spruce wood forever because I just didn't want to go mining. I got some iron doors. I need some of that for this survival lab. Got lots of glass. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Guys, what the heck? I had a lot of good stuff over here. Beetroot soup. I want to try some of that. Oh, I'm not hungry. <laughs> I have a lead, some fishing rods. Care on a stick. What was I doing there? Um, Wow, lots of stuff over here. I probably have some OG armor over here, too. I wonder if these are some of them. I can't remember. And then, oh, I got a text message. What's this? I know, I'm just checking because there's, there's some good stuff. Oh, books. I can definitely use those. Oh, steak. I could definitely use those. <laughs> um, and some 20... And a, oh, my gosh. <gasps> Bookshelves. Wow. I had a lot of stuff over here. Yeah, so I actually think I want to start working on this next. Probably next episode or so. I might actually work on this in between episodes, but I don't know if I would want to do that or not. I'm not entirely sure. Um, because what we have left to do in here is... I might floor this off in between episodes. I might do that because that's just stone stuff. Um, for the upstairs part... Oh, man, I really wanted to finish this because look at this awesome staircase. You get the view of our world, the farm down there. You can see my strips where I get some wheat. <laughs> um, yeah, and the second floor. Oh, man. This was going to have like four floors or three floors. And then who knows what was going to be up here. And then I still got to build the pumpkin tower too. Where was I going to put that? I think I was going to put it over there on that side. Yeah, so it's going to be melon tower, pumpkin tower. And then this was going to be like a giant garage type of room because these were the entrances over here. Gosh, I had so many plans for this. Um, I still do. I still do. Don't you worry. It just takes time. But uh, that's also been what's been getting me thinking. That made sense. <laughs> um, I've been really trying to get our PC series going because I'm dying to play. I've been writing down all of our challenges we're going to be doing again because I like challenging myself in uh, PC Minecraft. I like approaching it in different ways. Not because... Like, I know some people don't like it, but I only do it because it's fun. Like, it makes it so much more fun challenging yourself, like, where you can only trade with the villagers to get your supplies at first. It's it's fun. Um, which, uh, I just don't know when to start it because I love this world so much. And when I know, I know when I start the PC series, I'm going to kind of leave behind this world. I'm not going to quit it. It's just that there won't be that many episodes for this. Another time, go away. Uh... <laughs> And that's the only reason the PC series is on a halt right now is because I I want to do stuff on here, but I also... Oh, it's just like, ah, I don't know. Look at that beautiful night sky. You know what I miss is my night sky and my custom PC texture pack. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Um, but let's go ahead and do the comment question of the day. Today's comes from everyone, and they ask, Hermitcraft question mark? Stop. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. You have no idea how many people ask that. Like, crazy amounts of people. That's how many people. Crazy amounts. <laughs> um, yeah, about that. The thing is, you guys gotta stop asking that because, <laughs> uh... Hermitcraft is a private server full of friends and they they invite people and it's not just like just because I have a decent amount of subscribers and whatnot I can't just go up to them and say hey I, I want to join <laughs> it's not like that just let you guys know they pick who they want and they rarely have new people come in and just to say even if they like out of s some crazy chance that they like just invited me i don't even know if i would join because it's just full of people that i always looked up to and watched and it would just i don't know it would just like ruin it for for me for some reason knowing that i'm like if i joined them for i don't know i'm weird like that i mean honestly i've never been put in that situation because when I got the chance to join Realms SMP, I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys really got to stop asking that because I get bombarded with that. It's not that ch like about me wanting to join. It's about them who picking to join. And like, seriously, I I'm not friends with any of them. I don't know anyone from them. All I do is watch their videos just like you guys. So I'm just another random person to them. It's it just let you guys know. I just want to get that out there. And probably um, most people probably don't even or didn't even watch this whole video because uh, my I think the time span of people watching my videos is only like seven minutes the average time span so yeah I'm still gonna get probably bombarded with those questions just for the few of you that actually stayed and watched that asked that before no <laughs> I'm not gonna join that um, so yeah guys thank you for watching uh, today was kind of productive I think we did a little bit of stuff. Why did I just get on him? I don't know. I'm just kind of running around being bored. I got a lot of stuff to do today. So um, next episode, uh, I'm thinking about going out finding the ocean monument. At least just finding the location where it's at. But I don't know. Or we might start on the factory. Who knows what we're going to do. Why are you off your lead? I hate this. Look. So many bugs in this game. It drives me crazy. <laughs> Look. What is this? Oh, oh, I miss PC so much. You guys have no idea how bad I want to play it. <laughs> Uh, okay, enough babbling. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. By the way, Bobby grew up and surprisingly kept his name.